Hey, what's up, folks? Jay Barino here, continuing my walkthrough, my brutal walkthrough for Legacy of the Void. We're heading into the Infinite Cycle. This is a purely micro mission, so no unit variations or solarite allocation to worry about here. It's just Artanis and Kerrigan. And really, you gotta play this a little fast and loose. The key is just, if, you're, if your units have abilities up, just use them. I mean, you have to be a little judicial. You don't want to spawn Banelings just willy-nilly against one unit, because... Spawn Banelings has a pretty high cooldown, but for the most part, you want to just make sure you're using your cooldowns every time that they're up. The shrines call this place the Temple of Unification. The Zelnaga are somewhere within. So far, all I've encountered are hybrid. I've been fighting them for days. Progress has been difficult. The prophecies foretell of two ascended races working together to seek out the halls of revelation within the temple. Only with both present will the shrines reveal the means to awaken the slumbering Zelnaga. I've never cared much for prophecy. And yet, despite our history, here we stand, together. Perhaps you should start. So because this mission has a real cool cinematic at the beginning that I skipped, I'll take this opportunity again to say, if you're looking to watch all the dialogue and cinematics, uh, I would recommend you watch my other playthrough. Halt! Do you sense that? A great power awakens within this construct. Purity of form. Purity of essence. Prove your strength. So again, just use all this stuff just every time it's up and you'll be absolutely fine. Alright, just keep using Lightning Dash. Is that what it's called? Yes. Alrighty, and we're in good shape. So the constructs hold the keys. Good to know. Let us proceed. Keep in mind that Astral Winds, if no matter how low Artanis' health goes, Astral Winds heals his health up completely. Um, another thing to point out is this Resurgence, which is basically if Artanis loses all of his health, every 60 seconds he's able to come back with full health and shield. So just keep that in mind. So if you see Artanis close to death, um, you may have Resurgence up and you'll be fine. We should gather them. Our knowledge is your heritage. Look out! Hybrid! My psionic abilities can mend our wounds. You have my attention. Cool. So I think on Brutal, sometimes you have to use Resurgence. Like, it, things get a little dicey that you just want to be using, like, plan to use Resurgence. So, like, in this case, I could go and attack the Guardian uh, and then just assume that I'd use Resurgence, or I could wait for Astral Winds, Astral Wind to pop up. That way we go in with full health at least. That way we may not have to use Resurgence and we'll have it up for another period. We'll have to destroy it to open the doorway. Okay, use Astral Wind every time it's up. Keep using that, and then when he uses this beam, you just kind of kite him around in a big circle and let Artanis do his thing. Cool. Astral Wind almost back up. There we go. And again, you can count on resurgence as well. Or resurgence as well. This is kind of a big deal. Probably going to have to use it. Nope, never mind. We're fine. The future is then there's another one across this gap. Another instance where you probably just want to wait and heal up. There is a powerful energy across this chasm. Kerrigan, remain here. I must investigate this. Okay, and then I'm just going to wait for the cooldown to be at least about halfway back up so that we can use it when necessary. Don't That's the only thing you really want to wait on, otherwise you can rely on Resurgence, but... I don't like relying on Resurgence. I like having it there when things go shitty, but <laughs> otherwise it's okay. Okay, jump away. When he does that big circle thing, that means he's going to spawn the Healy bots or whatever they are. Alright, run in a circle away from that. Astral Wind. The, uh, the hybrid attacks the attacks it as well, so you can just kind of hang out and let it do that. Or just kill it, that's fine too. Okay, let's just heal up, keep jumping in, and it's going to die here pretty soon. There we go. No problem. So again, just use your abilities when they're up, you'll be fine. Don't hesitate to use them, unless it's Banelings. Banelings is the only one you want. might want to put some thought into where you use it. Change is upon us. And otherwise, it's not a bad idea to just quick save fairly frequently so that you don't carelessly just lose crap. 
Okay, let's hop on over here, and then there's going to be like a def like a defense section that we have to deal with. Fate is with us. The shrine still functions. Quick. I'm just going to skip these. Okay, and then this summons in a bunch of assholes. Just jump over. Astral Wind. Kinetic Blast that so it doesn't spawn too much stuff. And let's go ahead and spawn Banelings right there. That's going to kill all those Zealots. And then just, again, just use your AoE as in, in the best situations that you can think of. Astral Wind. Jump over. Kerrigan, make sure you're not taking too much heat. Artanis. Jump on over. He may die here, but that's okay. Just go. This is where he's going to use Resurgence. There we go. He's back. Jump on over and kill those. Banelings on top of the Colossi. And then use your uh, jump in and murder. Th okay, there we go. You can see it's getting to the point where I'm, I'm losing track of my hero's abilities where I say use, in and jump use your jump in and murder ability. Okay, so Resurgence is not up, but it, it's the cooldown is pretty short. It's only 60 seconds, so it's not that bad. Again, I'm going to skip these cutscenes. There we go, and when you come back, you're back at full health. A bold Let's go. It won't be long until our enemy pushes further into the temple. Okay. It seems you were right. Focus well, down the, uh, the warp prisms. Down. Keep focusing down the warp prisms. There we go. That's going to help a huge ton. Kerrigan, kill that one. You want to kill those warp prisms? I think it's pretty important. Okay, we do have uh, we do have resurgence up. Let's see, oh, that almost killed that one. And then just have Artanis jump around as frequently as possible. Nothing's really up right now. Okay, jump on over here. Kinetic blast, and we should be fine. We can heal up. Alrighty. Again, there's really not much for me to say in terms of a walkthrough in this mission. We must find another way forward. Just use your abilities frequently, and that's pretty much it. It's not a bad idea to wait for Astral Wind to be off cooldown before moving into the next section. Also, his uh, his just passive shield regen is very, very high. Okay. It appears the are preoccupied. We should engage them while they are fighting the constructs. I agree. And uh, let's go ahead and do this. Heal up. Again, use that heal as frequently as possible. Oh, I should have let them do way more damage to the Constructs, I think. Kerrigan, focus on this one. Artanis going to go down. Banelings here, please. Artanis is back. Leap over. And there we go. We should be good. And we just have to kill these these stupid little things. There we go. I could have let the Taldarim do a lot more damage. There were Colossus that were hanging out back there that just didn't look like they were doing anything. Which is uncharacteristic. I expected them to do more. Also, for the Solarite, there's only one per section. So as long as you found one in each section, then you're good to go. And most of them, two of the three of them, are right on the on the normal path. What fools you are to attack me! This is very easy. Just let Kerrigan auto attack, honestly, because she's got uh, Fury, which means that she just her auto attack just increases as she attacks. Resurgence is back up. Again, in that last section, I don't know. I expected the Colossi to get in and do more damage to the uh, the constructs. They didn't, so I had to use Resurgence. I don't know if there's any other way. Uh, I think the Solarite is right up here. I think. But again, it's mostly on the main path. The third one is only slightly off the main path. This passage has caved in as well. Wait. Hybrid. Yep, of course. Okay, let's spawn Banelings here. Let's use Astral Winds. Jump over and stun the one that's hitting Kerrigan. Kerrigan does have a lot of health. I don't know what I'm tr why I'm treating her as if she she can't tank some stuff. You want to trade her out with Artanis, but who's tanking what? All right, Astral Wind. Astral Wind is a very good ability. It's just make just keep track of the cooldown and make sure you're using it when it's up. So this is just one of those missions that you do have to be on top of hitting buttons fast. You do have to be mechanically quick. All right, Banelings, Astral Wind, run away. I don't want to have to use Resurgence if necessary. Perfect. And then we'll wait for Astral Wind, heal him up to full health, because, again, it'll always... It does 300 health, and he's only got 200, so it's Speak. also really good for Kerrigan. We'll sit here, we'll wait. There's no, there's no reason to rush. We can just use it again, and then move to the next section. There we go. Otherwise, you're going to have to rely on Resurgence, and I don't like doing that. Here's the next... Solarite group. Is your future. We okay, and then I forget what's in this section. 
So we could just back up and let them do... We could just back up and let them do damage. In fact, I should have done that before. Either you let them kill the Construct, or then you have to deal with everything that, like... Or, or you have to deal with the remaining Terran. I generally would say dealing with the remaining Terran is easier, but... I don't know. See, then the Protoss, it just seemed like most of them weren't even hitting the Construct. Either way, we're fine. We're gonna head into the next section. I think a bunch of Reapers jumped down at some point. Or maybe not. I think this is just the end of this section. Okay. So let's just focus down killing these uh, these warp prisms before they summon anything in. Same with the uh, same with the medevacs. All right, and Kerrigan's Fury is able to just take this stuff out really, really, really easily. Use astral whatever, banelings, kinetic blast. Okay, jump over and stun. Kerrigan, look out. He's got resurgence up if necessary. It's gonna be necessary here pretty soon, I think. All right, back away, Kerrigan. Just let him use Resurgence. She can hang out back here. Actually, yeah, there we go. He probably had Astro Wind back up at that point, and I was just, like, waiting to waiting for Resurgence to pop as opposed to just letting him... Looks like we've earned a breather. You're up, Artanis. Instead of just using Astro Wind. It doesn't matter. The cooldown will be refreshed by the time we get to the next section. We'll skip this lore-related stuff. Again, let me emphasize, I have another series with all the dialogue and everything. This part is timed. Let's get to that shrine. This part is timed, so just kind of get in there, drop some banelings, jump over there and stun, and just use your abilities every time they're up. Just every time they're up, just make sure you use them. Kerrigan can kill this guy. Good job, Artanis. Jump over and stun. He's probably going to have to use uh, Resurgence here. I really don't know any other option. That's okay. Stun. Cool. Maybe if you were to run around in circles or something, you could avoid having to use Resurgence there. The Dark God has received your death. Okay, I uh, sniped that warp prism with kinetic blast, and let's keep going. I don't want to risk anything bad happening with the. Uh... All right, let's avoid this beam. I don't want to risk anything bad happening with uh, the timer. All right, let's continue. Don't stand in that giant beam, by the way. I thought maybe we could run by it, but nope. Okay, jump over and you can instantly kill giant groups of reapers like that. That was not a good use of Banelings. They sure are. Stun the Warhounds. Yes. Kinetic Blast the Thor. Use Astral Wind. It's not up yet, but it will be now. There we go. And we've got a decent amount of time, but I suppose let's keep going. I don't want to risk it. Artanis has Resurgence. There is precious time left. We must reach the shrine. Fashion them unto the infinite abyss. Okay, this part just run. Upon us. Jump over, use uh, Astral Wind, and then just run. They're, they're gonna die to the beam anyway. We have a minute 30, which is more than enough time in my opinion. Jump over, Astral Wind, Kinetic Blast, one of those. Okay, looking good. We can come over here and get the remaining Solarite. I believe it's down here, right? Yep. And just use Astral Wind now, so that the cooldown is back up by the time you push in. And you just have to start attacking these hybrid before the timer runs out. We have no more time to waste. Make for the shrine now. So as long as you pass this Our threshold, us. For right, kill the. For Ire. Kerrigan, run away! Kerrigan, run away! Everybody, run away! Actually, all right. Artanis is going down. Astral Wind. Car now turn around and, and hit him. Okay, Kerrigan's in semi-trouble here. In fact, everybody's in semi-trouble. Let's just go back and, and focus on her. Okay, attack, attack, use Astral Wind. Kerrigan, drop Banelings and everything. Keep using your, your drop. There we go. Now we're... Oh, okay, all right, all right, all right. Astral Wind, that was really, really close. Can we stun this one? We can. Kinetic Blast. Now we're in good shape. Maybe. Yeah, now it's dead. Okay, a little dicey. Just run out. I almost lost there. So, uh, I guess some advice there is don't do what I did. Don't stay in an area where you don't have to be. I should have leapt in. It's done. Do your shrine thing, Artanis. These gods of yours have a lot to answer for. I should have just leapt in, done some damage, and then backed out. Kept my heroes consolidated, because otherwise they get focused down separately. But that's okay. We managed to do it barely. 
that's an area I think resurgence is kind of a necessity. I don't know any other way. Alrighty, we'll skip the cool end cutscenes. We'll skip the cool end cutscenes. Sorry, friends, but those go on a little too long for this specific walkthrough. But this has been Jay Barino. Thanks so much for watching. And when we come back, we will save our Tannis and Kerrigan. The next mission is another Go Real Fast mission. Very similar to the Vault on Cybros, and I find it a little challenging, but uh, I think Solar Lance, once again, is going to be our go-to. I'll see you next time. Bye now.